Hi, and welcome to the second tutorial using Alice. In this lesson, we will show you how to position your objects in the Alice world. We will also show you how you can start making your objects move and do almost anything you want. During this tutorial, we will also introduce you to the first of the legend stories from Aboriginal culture. We will start by telling the thunder story. In Wasanich culture, Thunder Being lives in a cave in Lowellnuch, their sacred mountain, and he is the communicator between this world and the sky world. In our tale, there was once a young man who wondered where Thunder came from. His parents told him that he couldn't learn anything about Thunder unless he worked for it. He was told to take daily cold baths, but after doing this countless times, he didn't receive his answers. He decided to go up the mountain to find Thunder. It took him several days to reach the top of the mountain to watch the thunder. While he watched the thunder, he saw a girl come out of a cave. And this is where we'll pick up the story. Let's set up a new scene. We don't have a cave in our Alice gallery, but we can use the island object as a good substitute. Now let's add the two characters, the boy and the girl. You will see a warning message when you add the boy. Just click the yes button to move past this. This warning won't affect your story at all. Okay, now let's learn how to position them any way you like. In the top right, you'll see seven buttons. If you hover your mouse cursor over them, they will tell you what each one does. The first button gives you a cursor and allows you to move your object anywhere you like around your world. The second button allows you to move your objects up and down. The turn button allows you to spin your objects to face different directions, and we would like our characters to face each other. The fourth button enables you to flip your objects almost as if they're doing somersaults. If for some reason you wanted your boy to start standing on his head, then you can, but we'll start him on his feet. The tumble button is a combination of the previous two buttons, so if you move your mouse around, you'll notice your character moves in two different directions. Next, the resize button will allow you to grow or shrink your objects. If you get a warning message when doing this, just click OK to move past it. And finally, the copy button. This enables you to make multiple versions of your objects. Since we only need one boy, let's delete the extra copy. Simply drag him into the trash found at the top of the screen. We now have our scene set up and ready to continue our thunder story. All we're going to do is make the two of them walk towards each other and say hi. In Alice, we can make our objects do many things. In the top left, we have a window that shows all the different objects in our world. If we select the Aboriginal man, we can see all of his details in the window underneath. In this window, there are three tabs. We're going to focus on the Methods tab today, which is already selected for you. In Alice, a method really means do something. If we look down the list, we can see all the different things that our boy knows how to do. So let's start by making him walk. All you have to do is click on the method you want and drag it into the large box on the right. The outline of the method you're dragging will turn from red to green when you have it in the correct spot. It will then ask you how far you want him to walk. This is measured in meters. Click on other and type how far you want him to go. Let's put in 10 meters and see what happens. Press the play button to see your work. This makes our character walk right off the screen and past the girl. So let's change how far he walks from 10 to 2, and we'll see what happens. A lot of Alice is about trial and error. You won't usually get the distance or the movement right on the first try, so you have to put in different amounts and press play to see if it works for you. If you decide you want to delete the method, you can remove it by clicking on the tiny dots on the left-hand side of the method and simply drag it into the trash. Now let's get the girl to walk towards the boy.
Let's make her walk too. Two seems too close, so let's change that to one. Great. We should now have them greet each other. So click on the boy and scroll down his methods until you find the one that says, Aboriginal man say. And we'll have him say hello. And let's do the same for the girl. Now let's see how that looks. There it is. Our two characters have now met each other. In the next lesson, we'll look at how we can get our characters to do things at the same time and also how they can interact with each other. Thanks for watching.